So this thing tracks your ah, skin. Your movement. Movement. We use the strain sensor in this time. Okay, okay. And then it'll tell you how many calories you're burning and... Uh, the merit to catch your movements, but we can guess and also we can calculate the calories or the distance. Gotcha. How about this one for the baby? What's that? What's uh, that for? This baby, baby one is uh, in the use case. The mother in the outside want to show the baby in the home, uh -huh. and uh, they want to know the baby's health, health or not, and uh, also want to know the baby's sleeping or not working there. Mm -hmm. So we use the temperature sensor and we use the strain sensor. It's track your health and uh, movement. Okay. So temperature sensor. What's the second one? Uh, strain sensor. Okay. Okay. Because we don't know, we don't want to know the baby how to work. I only want to know baby is working or not. Okay. okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, so it doesn't track like heart rate. Uh, we we can. We have the ECG sensor. Okay. And but if, if for you, this one too? Or no. Not for that one. Yes. Okay. okay. In this case, the use case doesn't include the ECG. Okay. Okay. So we do the customized business. If you have the use case, we can you can choose from here and which sensor do you want to use, and also you can. T t uh, discuss with us, so where's the sensor place? Then we can make your own choice.